Hello everyone, today on Lisa's List we're going to talk about chairs, so stay tuned. <music> Sotheby's International Realty in beautiful Charleston, South Carolina. And I know many of you have followed along with the decorating project at the North Carolina Dining Room. So I just wanted to share and give you an update. So I needed new chairs for that space and I wanted something different. I wanted something unique. I was having a problem finding them. So what I did, I ordered these chairs. I actually ordered them off of Amazon. Uh, sometimes I go out online, I find things that I really like, and then I search Amazon just to see if they have them. And they did, and they were really good price. They shipped next day prime. But I didn't like the fabric. So I ordered this fabric on Etsy, uh, took it to the lady that I used to upholster and cover things. But while they were there, I was up here at the North Carolina house, uh, just we were up for a quick visit. And I remembered something that I had that I've been carrying along with me for years from move to move that belonged to my grandmother. And I remembered I had some antique feed sacks. So I called the lady doing the upholstery project and asked her if there's any way we could use them on the backs of the chairs. And she said, bring them to me, we'll see. So actually we had two that we could use and it kind of gave a little mix and difference and gave it a little pop on these chairs. So we have it on two of the chairs. The other one's over on the other side, the feed sack. We'll show you that shortly. But the other thing I wanted a host and hostess chair. Again, I went out and found some pretty expensive uh, host and hostess chairs out online, but I found the exact same ones on Amazon. I couldn't believe it. And they were next day ship as well. So that's what's going on with the chairs. We'll show you the other feed sack here on the other side. And they turned out really well, and I'm really excited about them, and everyone has loved them. So using these did a lot of things for this room, just added another pop of color, makes it very unique, something that everyone doesn't have, and it also is a special memory for me when I enter this room and I think about my grandmother. I really like the outcome of the chairs in the dining room. I think I'm really going to enjoy them and for years to come, and I'm not going to get tired of them. They have some great memories. And many people ask me how I come up with ideas in my decor. I think your decor should be a reflection of your personality, things that you like, let your rooms and your homes speak to you. And I like to use uh, antiques and sometimes I mix them with other collected things. And I also like to share memories from my childhood and my past. So bring all those things into your room. We're gonna be doing a lot of things this year on Lisa's List from decor to hot spots in Charleston and everything in between. If there's anything you'd love to hear about in Charleston, let me know. And until next time on Lisa's List.